go. As Autonomous begins, check out Cyber Blue picking up six points right along their Alliance partner team thrust. 12 points so far over on the Red Alliance as those robots exit their community for some mobility points. Galactech, meanwhile, on the Blue Alliance, they're going to dock and engage, and th so will team thrust. 12 points on the board for both alliances. Drivers in control now here during Teleop in qualification match number three. Red Alliance leads, but just by three points, so Blue is going to get to work right away. We see Hatchet Robotics, they've nudged a cube onto a hybrid node on the playing field floor for two points. Their alliance partner, Red Alert, they're going to exit that community going up and over that charge station. Can be quite a bit of a challenge. It looks like they're getting a feel for how their robot navigates up on that smooth surface of the charge station. 1747 for the Red Alliance. That's Harrison Boiler still right in front of their starting position. We did see that on their last round. We're going to see if that robot can get back in action. That drive team working very, very carefully on the Red Alliance. We did see a piece of the top of the charge station pop off here on the red side of the field, but the charge station is still protected underneath by the second layer of that polycarb underneath that top surface. 234 for the Red Alliance. They try to pick up a cone, but do nudge up against their Alliance partner, dropping that cone to the playing field floor. Turning our attention back to the Blue Alliance, all three of those robots in their community. 1741 still up on that charge station. It looks like they might be hanging out there to make sure that Red Alert can pick up 10 points for the Blue Alliance at the conclusion of the match. We did see some motion, it looks like, from 1747 for the Red Alliance. 8116 Hatchet for Blue. They are now joining their alliance partner. They'll pick up 20 points at the end of the match if both of those robots stay docked and engaged on the charge station. Team Thrust also getting on the charge station now with 30 seconds remaining. The Red Alliance does lead 54 to 36. Now, if the Blue Alliance can balance out that charge station, they will pick up an additional ranking point despite trailing in the match score here. But Cyber Blue and Team Thrust also want to pick up 20 points. So let's see what happens in the final 10 seconds of qualification match number three. 81 16, though, over on their side for the Blue Alliance, unfortunately, and still in contact with the charge station as time expires in match three. Results of the match are here, so let's check out your final score. The winner is the Red Alliance. 
Score of 79 to 51 in that match. Red Alliance takes the win and the activation bonus on the charge station.